Hi everyone, Rob here again at Power Learning Solutions and today we're going to look at how to share items using a sharing collection in the Brightspace or D2L ePortfolio tool. I just actually received a question from a student of mine in a course that I teach for University of Manitoba and uh, she's saying that she has shared something to her ePortfolio but she can't see anybody else's learning journals and uh, she's wondering if she has her shared properly or if her classmates have their shared properly. So from time to time, your instructors, if you're using Brightspace, may ask you to use the ePortfolio tool to uh, create a portfolio, to share some reflections with each other. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to actually configure a collection of items that you want to share with your instructor and with your classmates and how to make sure that they can see it using the sharing groups tool. Now to get to your ePortfolio from inside of most courses, you have to go back to your dashboard in D2L or Brightspace. So I'm just going to click on the icon up here, which usually is the home. We'll bring you back to your dashboard. And now you're going to see an ePortfolio link. So if I click on that, I can see my uh, dashboard for my ePortfolio. I can see in here some other collections that have been shared in the past with me. So this student's collection for another course that I have taught, uh, EDTC0560, a test collection that I created, some individual reflections. I scroll on down, I can see some more collections that have been shared with me including one from the same course in a past term, EDTC 0530. So the next uh, little bit, I'm going to actually show you how to create one of these collections and then how to add some items to those collections. Okay, so if you want to add a collection, create a new collection, I'm going to create a test one for this particular course. I'm just going to click on the new collection item over here and I'm going to give it a name. So this will be Rob's sample EDTC 0530 learning journal. And I can give this a description. I can also tag this if I like. I'm gonna give this a tag just like you would a hashtag for Twitter. And I will add that tag. Now I have nothing in this collection yet. I have just my basic setup. I'm going to hit save and close. Now that I have created my ePortfolio uh, collection, I want to share this to the proper sharing group. So I'm going to click the drop down arrow here next to the name of my collection and click on the share link. And I'm going to click on add users and groups. And in this case, I'm going to click sharing groups. I can add individual users here if I want to share this with one of my classmates. But in this case, I'll click sharing groups. I'm going to look for sharing groups that I am a member of. And in this case, uh, I'm going to take EDTC 0530 for fall 2020. That's the collection I'm working with for this course. And all of my classmates, all everyone in the course has access to this collection. So I'm going to click on that. I can assign permissions to this and I am going to share. I'm going to make sure that it's always visible. Yes. And then I will hit close. My learning journal collection has now been shared with the group, but I don't have anything in it. So back on my ePortfolio homepage here now, you can see in my uh, stream here, my information stream, that my learning journal has been created on today's date and uh, there are no items in it yet however so i can actually edit that here if i want or i can start adding items and adding them to that collection so i'm going to start by adding a file uh, the easiest way to do that is just to click on this box up here the what are you learning box i'm going to click add a file and i can drag and drop it here i can also go to the my items area 
and uh, I can go to shared items and there's ways in there that you can add files as well. So I'm just going to click on add a file here and this case I'm going to upload a copy of the course outline for this course. So I'll just drag and drop it. I can add uh, tags here that I want to share it with or I can use this drop down here to scroll through different sharing groups. So I'm going to click the sharing group. I can add tags to it as well if I want. And I'm going to add that to my ePortfolio. Now that item has been added to my ePortfolio, but it's not a part of this collection yet. So I want to hit this drop down here and I want to hit add to collection. And I'm going to pick which one of my collections I want to add this to. So this is going to go to my sample learning journal collection. If I click on my learning journal, you're going to see that I have one item in it right now. So if I were to look at anybody else, uh, any other students learning journal from the group, I would see that uh, they have an item like this in there or any items that they've added. I'm going to see those in their collection when I click on it. Now, I've shown you how to upload a document, a PDF document, and it's absolutely fine if your instructor asks you to create some weekly reflections. Maybe you want to type them up offline in Word, save them as a PDF or Word or, or as a PowerPoint file and upload them to your collection that way. But you can also create your reflections right here in the Brightspace ePortfolio. And I'm going to do that by going to my items area. And then I'm going to click on the add and I'm going to click a reflection here. So I can give this a uh, title. My sample week one reflection and I can type out whatever I want to include in my reflection. Again, I can tag this. Now what tagging it does here is not the same as adding it to your share group, by the way. This is just giving it a tag so that anyone, uh, if you make your post visible to the entire organization, the entire university, anyone can search by this tag and find it if you want to add it that way. So I'm going to save this and close it. And now again, I'm going to click the drop down menu here next to the title. I'm going to uh, add this to a collection. Getting an error screen there. So let's try this again. I'm going to click the drop down menu next to that. Click share. And I'm going to not share it. I'm going to add it to a collection. I will click my sample collection here. And it has been added. Now, if you want to see anybody's collection, uh, anybody in your class, see their learning journals, see what they've shared to your sharing group, you just need to come here to your ePortfolio homepage. You should see any collections that you have access to that have been shared to our sharing group in your stream here. And they should show up in chronological order. If I click on Rob's sample learning journal, for example, now I can see that uh, Rob has a reflection and Rob has shared a document to that collection. Coming back here, I can see uh, some other items created by other people. I can actually subscribe to these items by clicking the little star icon next to them. And that will actually give me a notification whenever that person adds something new to the collection.